Buckingham Palace is on high alert after a military threat caused everything to come to a halt. This threat is directed squarely at Prince Harry. The shadow of unrest appears to be looming over what might happen to the prince. In response, it is none other than King Charles himself who breaks his silence decisively and monumentally to reveal whether he stands with the military representative or rather with his younger son this is where i want you to tell me what you think about all this share your thoughts in the comment box below i can tell you now that things are heating up and the king's decision on this matter has been monumental and impactful as i will reveal to you immediately first as always please give this video a big thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our content which we deliver straight to you now here's the breaking news from production we hear first what happened an english lord a former military leader has launched criticism against prince harry prompting a response from king charles let's listen they discuss Lord Alan West, former head of the Royal Navy, who criticized Prince Harry's nomination for the Pat Tillman Award for Service, which will be awarded at the Aspy Awards in Los Angeles this month. The Duke of Sussex's nomination sparked worldwide controversy and calls to reconsider it, especially as the award is named after Pat Tillman, a former NFL player and Army Ranger, killed in Afghanistan in 2004, honoring those who have significantly impacted sports. Tillman's mother, Marie, expressed her surprise at Harry's selection, considering there might be other more suitable candidates. Admiral Lord Allen West, who held high-ranking positions in the Royal Navy, strongly criticized the Prince's nomination, offering a concise warning regarding Harry's suitability. Lord Allen's criticism underscores the controversy and expectations surrounding awards to public figures like Prince Harry, highlighting the sensitivity and importance of such recognitions. Do you think awards like the Pat Tillman Award for Service should fundamentally be based on contributions to sports, or should other aspects of public life be considered for nominees? As always, I would love to hear your opinion. Personally, I disagree with the Admiral on this matter. Prince Harry has not only supported sports, but has also helped veterans return to sports after injuries sustained in combat. Remember the Invictus Games? Those were founded and promoted by Prince Harry himself. It's also worth noting that Prince Harry was deployed in Afghanistan from 2007 to 2013, reaching the rank of captain and demonstrating immense bravery and determination, even risking his life for... England on the battlefield. Now you know my stance, I believe Harry deserves the award. However, in light of this English lord's threat, this former admiral of the British military has argued that Harry does not even deserve to be nominated for the award and should brace himself for removal. He has threatened to advocate for actions against Prince Harry to have him removed from the award consideration. King Charles has made it clear to all around him, informing the English Admiral, that Prince Harry deserves respect and has never claimed any honor he did not earn. His military career and national sports support are invaluable. Consequently, King Charles believes he is a suitable candidate for the award. Although King Charles states, I am not part of the award committee, so I cannot decide, he asserts, I will not allow anyone to damage my son's honorable record. This is a powerful, striking moment in which King Charles firmly states that he will not tolerate any further attacks against Prince Harry from external agents like this former British military officer. Here we see King Charles' dedication to Prince Harry's cause, which is nothing more than to be reintegrated into the monarchy, to be part of the family in a much more active way, and above all, to demonstrate that a father's love for his child, even if not always openly shown, will always remain alive and present in the heart in this case, in King Charles' heart for Prince Harry. Now, I'd like to know how you view King Charles' defense of his younger son, Harry. Let me know in the comment box below. Give this video a big thumbs up for true love, and stay tuned for more updates we'll be sharing here on your favorite royal news channel.